Hi, my name is Crypto Sport, and in this video, I'll go through the latest crypto developments. Before we get started, if you can hit the like and subscribe button, currently sitting at 369 subscribers, hoping to hit the thousand mark as soon as possible. In this video, I'll be covering off one of my favorite coins, Veracity, which I have a lot of videos on already, around about 30 videos. So let's get straight into it and what I'm covering off Veracity. Veracity currently um, has a coin market cap of 30 million, so it's a really low cap market gem with potential growth. Currently sitting at 451 on coin market cap, has 370,000 watchers. I won't go through the circulating supplier. Uh, as I said, I've covered that off in other videos. Rasti is currently listed on major exchanges, but however, it's not listed on Binance or Coinbase. So if you go onto Rasti Markets here, it's listed on KuCoin, Bitfinex, Bitrex, Uniswap, Gate.io, OKX, Hubu, Crypto.com. So still got a long way to go in terms of listing on Binance and um, Coinbase. We go to Twitter. There's been some rumors in the last couple of days that Binance are preparing a listing. So if you just go to my Twitter page, I've retweeted this. So check out last year's biggest VRA bag uh, was wallet number 12, which is Binance 40. There's huge amounts of VRA that have been sent to Binance on a regular basis, 1.7 billion for a total value of 4.9 million. It's been happening for over a year now. And every time this happens, obviously Binance, uh, veracity holders get excited. 1.7 has been accumulated, accumulated in this particular account and was revealed to Binance account during proof of reserves for transparency as part of auditing of the exchanges. That's what, what one user said on the Twitter. Uh, Anyway, whatever happens, when Binance do decide to list Veracity, the pump's going to be massive. We've seen that volume and liquidity that on other exchanges. Other people said there's three options. Binance has a cold wallet and VRA hold coins there. Binance has big investments in Veracity and it keeps on buying. It's preparing liquidity for potential listing. We all know that uh, CZ Binance follows Veracity on Twitter. So if you go to Veracity... You'll see CZ Binance follows them unless he's unfollowed them recently. There you go. So I don't know how to interpret this news. Me personally, I don't want a Binance listing right now as a holder. I would run it during the bull market. I don't know what anyone else's thoughts are. It's also worth noting that um, yesterday we saw um, Kevin um, O'Leary slag off Binance in his testimony to um, so his testimony to the Parliament. Not the Parliament, sorry, the Senate. So if you ever listen to this, it's worth a listen to. I have, I have an opinion. opinion. I, don't I don't have, have the records. records. Here, Here it is. It is. After, After my accounts were stripped of all of, all of their, their assets, assets and all, all of the accounting and trade information, information. I couldn't, I couldn't get answers, answers from any of the executives in the firm, in the firm so, I so I simply called Sam, Sam Bankman Fried and said, where, where is, is the money, Sam? Sam? He, he said, said he had been refused, refused access to the servers. He no, he no longer knew. knew. I said, I okay, said, okay, let's step back. back. This, this is, is a simple, simple case in my mind of where did the money go? And I said, Sam, walk me back 24 months. Tell me the use of proceeds, the assets of your company. Where did you spend it? And then, and then he told, he told me about a transaction that occurred over the, over the last, last 24 months, months, the repurchase of his shares from, from Binance, his, his competitor. I didn't, I didn't know, know this at the time, but at some point, point CZ or, or Binance, Binance, runs Binance, purchased 20% ownership in Sam, Sam Bankman Fried's firm for seed, for seed stock. stock. And, and then, over time, over time and I asked him, what would compel you to spend $2 billion was the number he was giving me at that time. Later, later, in a subsequent conversation, about 25 hours later, later he, told he told me it could have been as much as $3 billion to buy back, back the shares from CZ. From CZ. I, asked I asked him, what, what would compel you to do, do that? Why wouldn't would you keep your assets, your assets on your balance sheet? And why would you offer this to just one shareholder? He said, he said because, because every time we went to get, to get licensed in different jurisdictions, because you, you must understand the prize of crypto is to get regulated. For all the talk we say about Bitcoin and everything else, no institutions own this. I work for the sovereign wealth and pension plans. They don't touch this stuff. It's unregulated. Between these two, let's call them frenemies, because they obviously were the two, potentially the two largest shareholders in the firm. They had, they, a had a they had a disagreement. They had a falling apart. apart. 
Apparently, Apparently according, according to Sam Bankman-Fried, CZ would not comply with the regulators requesting these, requesting these different geographies, these different jurisdictions, to provide the data that would clear them for a license. He withheld, he withheld it, according, according to Sam Bankman-Fried. The, the only option the management and Sam Bankman-Fried had was to buy him out. out. At an, at an extraordinary valuation of close to $32 billion, less apparently a 15% discount. That stripped the balance sheet of assets. You ask me why it went bankrupt? Go to the last week. All of a sudden, in social media, CZ is asking for another $500 million. He wants, he wants to do a block trade, trade of FTT, or, or, the, or, the, or the, the, the proprietary token of FTX, once it's converted, converted back to fiat. fiat. Why, Why would you put that, put that out there? there? You, you know it's going, it's going to push down, down the pressure. pressure. It's going to push, push down, down the value, that value of that coin dramatically, dramatically. and that's exactly what happened. Every, Every trader knows that if you have a large block trade, trade you go negotiate a clearing, a clearing price with other buyers, and you do the transaction. In, in my, my view, view, my personal opinion, opinion these, these two behemoths that, that own the unregulated market together, together and grow these incredible, incredible businesses in terms of growth, growth were at war with each other. And one, and one put, put the other, other out of business, of business intentionally. intentionally. Now, now, maybe, maybe there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe there's nothing wrong with love and war. But, but finance, finance is a massive, massive unregulated, unregulated global monopoly now. They, they put, put FTX, FTX out of business. Out of business. Now, now, lots, lots of, of other reasons, reasons I'm sure. sure. You, you get the gist of the, what he's saying. In my opinion, as I said to you, Rasti, it's not in Rasti's interest to be listed on Binance yet. And also, given all the fud around Binance over the last couple of um, weeks, even Jim Cameron stepped in recently about um, saying that he thinks Binance is secure. He thinks that it's, he's a good investor. And then obviously sees their Binance reply back, oh, Jim, please don't use Binance for the sake of everyone else. Half joking. Obviously, there's an inverse Kramer coin out there. So as I said, keep an eye out on Veracity. If you think it's going to be listed on Binance soon, drop a comment in my comment section below. I personally don't think it's a good time for Veracity to be listed on Binance. I'd like it to be listed when the bull run starts because the returns will be astronomical. We all know that CZ Binance follows Veracity, so he must be a fan of some sort. So yeah, let me know your comments below and hope to see you guys soon.